supposed to be, so it's no wonder that a new recommendation is stirring controversy among pregnant women. Good morning, Indiana anchor Beth Vaughn shows us what's new to consider. The third trimester brings with it plenty of hope, anxiety, and to-do list. But now there's something new to consider. The Surgeon General's office recommends that soon-to-be mothers get the pertussis or whooping cough vaccination in the weeks leading up to birth. <laughs> I get you, I get you. This is the sound of a 10 year old really enjoying summer break. But for Sierra, the end of the school year was anything but comfortable. Well, it was in May, and you know, the trees are budding and the weather's changing, and allergies are really bad this year. Mom Lori Stolt assumed the coughing was a result of allergies. <laughs> But their doctor tested Sierra for pertussis or whooping cough, and that test came back positive. She didn't really have that whooping sound when she coughed. That diagnosis was shocking because vaccinations are a priority in this home. The Office of the Surgeon General recommends all pregnant women get the whooping cough vaccine in the third trimester, saying, quote, those high antibody levels will protect the newborn during the first two months of life before the baby starts getting their own shots, end quote. That's a recommendation Stolt would run with today if she was having another baby. And part of the reason why she'll continue to keep her family's vaccines on a regular schedule. It's available. It's there. They've done research. I don't understand why you wouldn't. You know, in a way, it's, it's a little bit selfish. Because um, then if your child does get something... You're, you're going to pass it on. And Regular vaccinations are critical, according to the Indiana State Health Department. For the last two years, reported cases of pertussis rose in Indiana. And in 2010, it was the cause of at least two deaths. Check with your doctor to see how often your family needs to get the pertussis vaccination. I checked with my obstetrician, and she agrees with this latest recommendation. So within the next few weeks, I'll get the Tdap vaccination that includes that dose of pertussis. Also, please remind to all of the adults in your family who plan to be around your new baby that they need to be vaccinated as well. Beth Vaughn, RTV6.